Once you have downloaded RCS64, loaded the cable FTDI drivers, XP users only, and updated the APB firmware, you are ready to race. This video will explain in detail how to set up RCS64. First, make sure that the power base and other devices, if you are using them, are connected. If you started RCS before you turned on your power base, you will need to click on the Search Connected Devices button to connect them. The COM port for each device will show up for all connected devices Advanced Power Base, Smart Sensors, Pit Pro, Arduino, Scorpius. Detailed setup instructions for Smart Sensors, Pit Pro, and Scorpius are covered in other videos. To use analog, simply check the analog checkbox. You will hear your power base power down when the power base goes into analog mode. Latency time is an important new feature in RCS64. Make sure that you view the latency video as a number of issues that you may experience can be solved by setting latency time correctly. Next, set up which buttons on your controller you would like to use to enter the PIT menu and for making track calls. Enter a number of seconds for the minimum lap time. This is an important setting that should be set a few seconds below the fastest lap time possible on your track. You can choose to, use, to either have the dashboards on the race screen stay stationary or be sorted by the position of each driver in the session. Less powerful PCs may struggle with this CPU demanding feature. The RCS team suggests that users with less powerful PCs do not use this feature as it may interfere with the communication between controllers and cars. If you have a parallel pit lane, a pit lane where the entry is before the start finish line and the exit is after the start finish line, you will need to select add a lap after pit lane use. Then you need to choose when you would like to have RCS add the lap either on entering the pit menu or on exit from the pit menu. Note that you should only select on exiting pit lane if you have sensors such as smart sensors or pit pro. When change profile in pit is checked, the pit menu will include the change profile option. With this feature drivers can change the throttle profile that they are using when in the pit menu, along with other features such as refueling, etc, etc. Now click on the race management tab and then the controllers tab. To change the text colors and background colors, you will need to enable controllers in the controller type box. Select the text colors you would like. Select the background colour which corresponds to each controller ID on your APB. Using the drop down menu, select the car that you wish to use on that controller. You can change the amount of fuel that you start a race with by changing the number in the start fuel text box. In the connected column, a green light will show if a controller is connected to the power base. Choose one of the following options for each controller. Disabled. No dashboard for this ID will show up on the race screen. SSD controller. Select this option for any Scale Electric Sport Digital compatible controller. For example, standard Scale Electric Digital controllers or TrueSpeed. If the shop option is not available for a specific ID, then a controller is not connected to the power base. Scorpius controller. This option will only be available if you have the Scorpius dongle connected to your PC. Pace car. Select this op option to set up a pace car on the controller ID. You will also need to set up a pace car via the pace car tab. 
That covers the basic setup of RCS64. See other explanatory videos at our YouTube channel or the RCS64 forum.